Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a fall 2020 shoe guide. I brought you guys a video very similar to this in the summertime a couple of months ago, and I basically broke down my favorite staple sandals and shoes for the summer. So naturally, this video is going to be all about my favorite booties and shoes that are perfect for fall. There are so many cute shoes and booties and boots on the market, but I really wanted to break down my favorite ones and the ones that I feel are not only perfect for this year but for years to come. As much as I'm all about trends, I'm still very realistic and aware of the fact that people want to buy things that they can use for time and time again. If you're interested in seeing my fall shoe guide for 2020, then of course, please keep watching. So the first shoe I feel like is a staple in literally everybody's collection and everybody's wardrobe. And when you think of fall, it's just an instant, duh, you need to have this. Black ankle boot, you guys. It's a staple, it's a must have. You can literally pick these up anywhere but a black ankle booty is a must now the reason that I love these and I wanted to share them is because of the fact that they do have this grip on the bottom and they are rubberized which I appreciate I live in Boston we get pretty brutal winters grips are always something that I favor when it comes to shoes and boots because of the fact that you have that slippery weather the slush and then you have salt on the ground and a lot of things on the ground that can have you be slipping and sliding everywhere so anywhere that I can find a grip or a rubber bottom is key so I wanted to to shout these out I'm five feet tall so I always look for some <laughs> I'm always talking about how short I am but I just feel like I, this is your first video of me I feel like I always should mention that but I'm a shorty you guys so anywhere that I can find a nice chunky block heel key for me these ankle booties are also a favorite of mine pick these up from Miss Lola I want to say maybe three years ago at this point they are a favorite for me they keep coming back every single fall because I just cannot stop wearing them. I wanted to shout these out though because of the color. I love the true taupe color that these are because they literally match with anything. Love the true taupe shade that it is because it's a perfect neutral. It's not super warm, it's not super cool. And once again, these are an ankle booty, which I like. And these do have a chunky block heel, which again, I prefer, especially in the fall time. I feel like these are definitely another essential because once again, you can never go wrong they have the zipper on the side which is perfect and honestly they just give you a nice little boost in height they're nice because they are a suede material which is nice I always feel like the suede looks super luxe and super fancy and bougie which I like I like a little bougie wherever I can get it of course so this is really cute and a really nice option so these are definitely a great option if you aren't that into booties or maybe if you live somewhere where you don't really get a lot of snow or you really just don't need boots in general and also great if you don't like flats per se I'm not a flats person honestly I feel like they make your feet smell like cheese I don't care what anybody says I'm not a flats kind of girl I honestly the times that I wear flats are very far and few in between because my feet just don't feel that great it's not a party in my feet whenever I'm wearing flats so if I can skip them I try to but if you are a flats person by all means do your thing girl but I think these are a great alternative to flats and boots if you're not into boots for whatever reason but guys check out these super cute quilted slip-on shoes I actually picked these up from Target these are from the brand a new day however I was actually at Walmart a couple of days ago and I noticed that they have some that are literally identical to this and I think they were under $15 I will link those for you guys down below as well as these from Target if I can find them but I got these on the later part of spring this year so they should still have them but these are so nice you guys and they're so comfortable you can wear really thin socks with them if you want they feel like a sneaker however they don't look like a sneaker so if you you don't want to have that super athletic look you don't have to these are perfect to wear with a pair of jeans you can even wear them to work with some cute slacks if you want maybe on a casual Friday they're a great little shoe and honestly I love them so I'm gonna be wearing them a lot more now that it's fall just because obviously in the summer it's just too much for me I just prefer an open shoe in the summer nonetheless super cute love the taupe shade they also have them in black and I think they have them in white too. So these are definitely one of my favorites to rock in the fall and even in the winter too. But combat boots are a must, you guys. I just feel like there's nothing like the edge that a combat boot gives you. I just love to pair a nice combat boot with some tights, oversized graphic tee, maybe a denim jacket or maybe even a motto jacket. It just gives you so much edge and so much sass and honestly just makes you look like a total badass. So I absolutely love a combat boot. I know they're not the most comfortable and I also know they're not for 
everybody but these are definitely one of the shoes that I always bring into my fall wardrobe every year because you just can't go wrong with a good combat boot. I believe these are from Paxson. I've had these for a couple of years now. Once again, I'm not showing you just shoes that I'm, I just randomly picked up the other day. Some of these shoes I've constantly continued to rotate as the years have gone by and these combat boots have been one for me that I've just had in my wardrobe for some time now and I just can't go wrong with a combat boot and I just feel like if you are the type of person who likes a little bit of edge, definitely gotta get yourself a good pair of combat boots. Once again, I will link some of my favorites down below for you guys. You guys, I have so much like nostalgia just looking at these, but let's talk about these Tims, you guys. I am a New York girl at heart. I know I live in Boston and I know I rep Boston really hard because I live here, but naturally I am a New York girl. I was actually born in the Bronx. Um, New York is really important to me, you guys. So naturally I gravitate towards my Tims because there's nothing like a good Tim's moment with your little Yankees hat repping for New York real quick. I just think there's nothing like a classic pair of Tim's and these are actually a new pair because my last ones were so busted and they really had to go so I'm excited to wear these. I actually haven't worn them yet. I actually just got them. A lot of people always think that you can only wear Tim's if you're dressing down but you can really dress a pair of Tim's up really nicely too. It just depends on what type of jacket you're wearing. If you wear a really nice long line suede jacket, oh, medium to dark wash jeans and some Tim's, honestly, you can't go wrong. I just feel like I'm rocking for my New Yorkers right now, you know? Don't let anybody ever tell you that Tim's are whack or Tim's are not in style anymore because that is a lie, okay? You guys know when like you go to Walmart and you get so pleasantly surprised by their inventory that you just can't help to be like, okay, Walmart? okay like I was so shook I went into their shoe section not expecting much but blown away by the time I left because look at the gems that I found in their shoe department tell me that these don't look like a $60 pair of Steve Madden boots these are so trendy so cute and literally so comfortable you guys I haven't even gotten a chance to take the ticket off because I haven't worn them yet I literally just got them a couple of days ago. They're very comfortable because they have the memory foam inserts inside of them. So it gives you that extra cushion and that extra heel support. They have this little three inch block heel and they look so luxe. How much? $19? $19.98. They were just under $20. So I couldn't believe the price. I couldn't believe how nice they were. They have this nice little gloss finish that makes them look so luxurious. Obviously the snake print is very trendy right now. Definitely my statement trendy booty for the season. Cannot believe I got them at Walmart. Guys, knee-high boots are a necessity. We are trying to rock our cute little short mini dresses, but we don't want to freeze our legs either. So that is where knee-high boots come in clutch. They come in handy. These are my favorite ones. These are the most comfortable ones that I own and the ones that I've probably had for about three years now. And I continue to bring them into my wardrobe every single fall and winter because they're just so good. These are from Boohoo. I will try to find them below. But one of the reasons I like them is because they have this pointed toe, which I like. It's not not super duper pointed it's a little bit rounded towards the tip as a chunky heel it's not a block heel it's more of a chunky heel but I do always look for a chunky heel because it's a lot more comfortable to wear and once again because I live in a cold climate state and we deal with snow it's just a lot easier to walk in them if I'm walking on snow another reason I like this boot is because I do have bigger thighs and it does have the extra stretch here which allows you to cinch it in and kind of customize to your liking. So that's really important for me. Hello, you guys. So I'm just jumping on here in all of my natural glory. I'm actually about to wrap up the editing for this video and I'm just now realizing I lost the outro clip to this video. So I'm just giving you guys a quick outro here saying thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate it so much. Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite shoes for fall and winter are because I'd love to know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. So yeah, you guys, I look busted. So I'm gonna get out of here. So I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.